Hi, I'm Sarah and you're watching Ken Sarah DIY It. Today I am going to be painting on another pair of shoes. They are not van shoes, but they look like van shoes. Um, and I'm doing another kids pair. So this will be my second pair that I'm painting on my channel and I'm really excited about it. I think I'm upping my game a little bit, maybe. Um, I'm using the Angelus um, leather, their acrylic leather paints and then I'm going to be using my Posca paint pens to do the detail work. So stay tuned and uh, check out what I have in store for you. <laughs> Here we go. So I grabbed these size one sport shoes you can see on the box from Amazon and I am just going to prep them and I decided that I wanted to use painter's tape around the rubber sole to try not to get paint on there. I've seen other people do it with um, vinyl tape and I think I understand why. It was really hard to get the tape to kind of like stretch around the round edges and I think the vinyl tape has like stretch and give and that's probably why they're using that. So yeah. I think if this is an ongoing project for me, I might need to get some of that vinyl tape. I went into this project not really knowing what I was going to do, but I really love this teal turquoise color. So I just wanted to lay down a foundation or a base color and I am just making sure to get close to the edge, um, still being careful not to, um, not to get any paint across that line or being as careful as I can. After painting the front and the back of the shoes that dark turquoise color, I ended up just adding white to the same color to make a lighter shade to go on the sides of each pair or of each shoe. Somehow I lost the footage of me doing that first shoe, but that's okay because I did videotape myself doing the second shoe. So here I am, I'm just doing each color, um, kind of doing a mandala style, but I wanted it to be more childlike, so I added things like leaves and hearts and um, made it less than perfect, you know, a little bit more playful. And of course I'm using my Posca pens, which are my obsession. Um, anyone that has been watching my channel for a little while will know that I am pretty into them recently. So this is the thinnest uh, Posca paint pen you can get and I am just using this to outline all of my um, details. The shoe was looking a little dull uh, when it wasn't outlined. So once I outlined everything, 
it really made all the colors pop and all the different shapes pop and I'm really happy with the finished look. You can see here the difference between outlined and not outlined. I am sure that there is a specific product that is supposed to be used as a top coat, but I am using Matte Mod Podge because that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this simple video and I think I'm gonna definitely make this into a series. I've got a bunch more shoes, including adult shoes, and I have ideas floating around in my head of things that I wanna do um, for different people in my life. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I am a small baby channel and I would love to grow and become a part of the wonderful DIY community here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Don't forget to try new things and goodbye.